Hey, what's up folks? Big news in the open source GIS world. MapLibre GLJS version 3 has been released. It's a huge release. It's got all kinds of great stuff in it. Congratulations to everybody involved in that. GLJS is awesome. Uh, I use MapLibre all the time and I enjoy it every time I do it. Now, look through the, the release notes. There's just so much great stuff here. One thing that caught my eye was a new function for 3D terrain called Query Terrain Elevation. It allows you to get the elevation of the terrain you're using at a particular point. And I thought, that's cool. I wonder if I can get the elevation profile along a path using this function, pass, passing it points along that path, and get an elevation profile. Get one of those neat little charts to see you know, how bad your... Uh, quads are going to be burning on the second half of your walk. So I went into CodePen so I could share this easily with folks and uh, it really wasn't bad at all. It does require a little bit of help from TurfJS because you're going to have to take a line a user draws and chunk it out in equal measures along that line. Now you can do that with Turf on the client side. You can also pass the, core, the line string back to PostGIS and have it do a interpolate along line, uh, something like that is the PostGIS function. I just did it all in the client side to keep it easy. So all I've got here are some tiles with uh, really just a couple raster layers, just the OpenStreetMap base tiles. And I'm using the MapZen uh, train tiles on Amazon S3, which are very nice. Thanks for providing them. That's really it for the map. And I'm just adding a GeoJSON layer that's going to hold the line that the user draws. So I've got a little function to draw the chart here. I'm just using this Zig Charts, which is not an open source charting library. It's, it was just fast. Uh, I started using Chart.js and I always have problems with sizing in Chart.js and it always takes me a while to figure it out. And I was like, I don't want to mess with this. So this is not an open source charting library, but you could use anything for this. I would not even pay much attention to the code that's drawing the chart. Got a little button to clear the route and that just clears some things out. The only interesting part of this happens down here. Now this is the code that runs if you have more than one feature, which means you have two points, which means you have a line. So this is just drawing that line on the map. This part here, if I make this a little bigger for you, this is where the magic happened. We're going to get the length of that line in meters using turf. So we're going to pass in the line string and we're just going to get the length. Now we're going to divide that up into however many chunks we want. So let's say we want, to want 20 chunks as a part of this. So that's going to take that line. That line may only have two user defined points, but it's going to divide it into 20 pieces. Uh, it's going to do that using turf's line chunk function. So you give it the division length, which is length of the line divided by whatever you want to divide it by, however many sample points you want. And that gives us a line that is essentially made up of those coordinates. So if the line was say 100 meters, we divided it by 20. That means every five meters, there's going to be a node on that line in that, in that line string. The GeoJSON. So once we have that, we have everything we need to do to use the, the query terrain elevation that comes with GLJS, MapLibre GLJS version 3. So it takes points. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our, our new line that's been chunked out by turf and take the features and map them. And for each feature, we'll get the coordinate geometry and we're going to do map query train elevation for that point. And then we just draw the chart with that chart data. So we're going to take our GeoJSON of that chunked out line, take each point, feed it through the query terrain elevation, and chart those points. Let's see how that works. Let's, uh, fortunately, we are flatter than a flat thing in Mecklenburg. So I've, I've, uh, set the train exaggeration to like 5x and we're still not exactly making it rain here. 
Now we've got two points and we're dividing that into um, 20 segments. And over here we have the elevation profile. Go down into the water, you see a big dip. Come up here, it's gonna go up a little bit. This looks like a hill over here. And we're going up quite a bit. And that's the elevation profile for this walk. We're also going to need some sort of flotation device, but uh, you get the point. And that's as straightforward as it is. And all the code is right here, just using a little bit of turf and that query terrain elevation. And that's how you can make an elevation profile along a path. So congrats to the MapLibre folks. It's a great release and you folks do awesome work. And this is how I would do this sort of thing on the client side with Turf. All right, hope you find that useful. I'll put a link to this code pen and you can uh, you know, do whatever you want with it. Hope everybody's doing well and happy and I will check you later, bye-bye.